Overton is a place of strange, unexplained paranormal phenomena. People's dogs, when they've walked across the bridge, have jumped to their deaths. It's as if they are in a trance, as if their minds are somewhere else. It does feel a little bit like something strange is going on. We've seen supernatural beings, angels. There are no dogs leaping in huge volumes off any other bridge. It's just this one bridge. Yeah. It's inexplicable. Strange. The world is riddled with strange and unsolved mysteries. I've made it my life's work to investigate and crack them once and for all. One of the darkest mysteries in Britain centres around a haunted bridge in Scotland. Over the last 50 years, 600 dogs have leapt off the bridge. That's a lot of dogs. And no one knows why. Is there something haunting the bridge? Or is something less mystical at play? It was suggested that maybe there was some kind of subsonic frequencies that were making the dogs act strangely. There is a strange feeling when you walk across that bridge. I went up to Dumbarton to get to the bottom of this mystery and hopefully stop all these good boys from hurting themselves. Before I went to the cursed canine death trap, I went to meet a man whose dog jumped over the bridge. So, did you have a dog that jumped over the bridge? Aye, uh, it was Hendrix. Hendrix? Aye. OK, wow. Do you have a photo of Hendrix? I have a photo here. So... Aww. What kind of dog is this? It's like a golden collie. So, tell me about what happened when you walked Hendrix over the bridge. It was getting about three, four o'clock-ish. We were walking over the bridge. We looked over the side of the bridge. But the dog jumped over the turret and ended up back up the bank. And was Hendrix OK? It was OK. It was in shock, more or less. Because mm -hmm. it stayed where it, would, where it fell. Mm -hmm. So there weren't any broken bones? No, or any, no, no. You're very lucky that your dog didn't die, actually. I know. a lot of them have. No. Was Hendrix prone to jumping? No. No? No. It's completely random. No. So, Kenneth, you don't have any specific theories as to why Hendrix might have jumped? No, no fears at all. Hmm. What was your relationship like with Hendrix? Were you close? No, oh, I. He was a great wee dog. You really loved him as aye. well? Is this something that you think about a lot? Is it something that's sort of, like, been... plagued you at all? No, not really. No. no. Well, it feels like Kenneth had no idea why his dog jumped. Or was this, in fact, a cover for... murder? Were all the tales of hauntings and nuclear submarines a smokescreen for an organised factory line of dog murder? Probably not, to be fair. Before I called the police on Kenneth, I needed to assess the other possible theories behind this phenomenon. I needed to speak to someone who had literally written the book on the bridge. So, Paul, you wrote the book on the bridge? Yes, that's right. Paul Owens wrote a book on the bridge. I was very interested to find out about what lay behind this very strange mystery. Mm. Why hundreds of dogs are leaping from this ancient Victorian bridge in the country? Yeah, why are they? Well, there's so many theories about this particular mystery. Having researched this mystery for 11 years, some people believe that it is perhaps an optical illusion that dogs don't see beyond the parapets and the walls. They don't know there's a 60-foot drop um, from the wall of the bridge down to the rocky bottom. 60 below. foot? 60 feet, yes. It's quite a drop for any animal to survive. But many other people believe that, in fact, Overton is a place of strange, unexplained paranormal phenomena. Right, and what has led you to this belief? I was uh, on the bridge. I felt there was a phantom finger jabbing me in the back twice and it caused me to jolt backwards like that. Like this, like this. Yep, like this kind of thing. And what do you think the jabbing finger was? The White Lady of Overton. Lady Overton herself, she was an animal lover and she would wander across this bridge every day, quite often with her own dog. They're being, in a sense, lured to the edge of the bridge walls by this figure, which is calling them towards mm. the bridge walls. Mm. And when they go there and they jump, suddenly they're over the wall, they're plunging down this 60-foot drop. But that just seems awful. Like, I don't feel like Lady Overton would have wanted all these dogs to die. According to witnesses, 
there is one particular spot on the bridge where the dogs really love to kill themselves off. I'm hoping Paul can help me reconstruct how such horrible events unfold. I've brought this dog. Oh, right. And if you could go through with me and reenact how the dogs act when they come on this bridge? Yeah, sure. Well, some of the dogs that have jumped, um, they have just kind of paused and very slowly walked across, stood still, and some of them have stared into space before sort of leaping right over the wall. The dog comes up from the centre of the bridge itself, right up here, and then just leaps like an extraordinary high leap, just right over. Sometimes it doesn't even touch these parapet walls. So they jump from here? From up. here, right up over the wall, yeah. So they don't even look? It's as if they are, they are in a trance, as if they are, their minds are somewhere else. In a trance. Hmm. From the lady in white. From the lady in white, indeed. What about the house? Is it haunted? Many people have experienced visions and um, they've seen ghosts around this estate. Um, ghosts of the white lady herself. Um, also, it looks pretty haunted, doesn't it? It, it, it looks very classically haunted. Yeah. I think the next thing for me to do is to meet the owners of that house. I think so. I'm Amelia, good to meet you. Melissa, good to meet you. Hello. I'm Bob, good to meet you. Good to meet you. Bob and Melissa Hill are Texan pastors who bought the supposedly haunted Overton house 20 years ago. I was hoping they could tell me about the lady in white and her possible burning hatred of long-nosed dogs. So Paul Owens told me that there was a lady in white that haunts this house. Right. Who is she? Well, I would assume what he's referring to maybe Lady Overton. I've never seen her here in the 17, 16, 17 years we've been here. You know, I know it was a prank that started the whole lady in white thing. What do you mean? Two older guys ran a cable from the tower block down across the bridge, had this sheet and stuff and shouted, oh no, it's a ghost. Mm. And, and so, and from that point on, everybody talked about the lady in white. So we overlooked the bridge. And so people come up to us and say, hey, my dog just jumped over the bridge. And do you think maybe it could be something to do with your house? Uh, no. No. Because I heard that it potentially is haunted. No. And we've never seen any evidence of what I would call haunting. So. Okay. So no strange goings on? Well, we've seen supernatural beings, angels. Okay, so you've seen angels? Yeah. But we okay. have seen angels. In right. This. Well, Bob has seen them in the angel room, but I have seen them in one of the bedrooms upstairs. It's always been called the angel room because of the ceilings. Have angels painted on the ceilings? Well, there's been a couple instances here. One, it was just over there at the window, but the other, we actually had a guy who would said, uh, I see angels hovering above me. So does this not look like the angel that you saw? Oh, no. No. Oh, the angel was like a really big, you know, like eight, nine foot tall person. Oh, wow. Very clear, glowing kind of. Person. So a giant. Kind of like a giant. Whew. So, is this where you saw the angel? This is the room that I saw the angel in, yes. Wow, okay. At the time, uh, we had a rocking chair that sat right here in this window. And I walked in, he was sitting right there, and he looked at me and he goes, it's gonna be okay, and then he was gone. But you still don't think that it's haunted? No. Do you have any theories of why you think that the dogs are jumping off the bridge? Well, I think it's because there's either a mink or a stoat or something like that that runs under the bridge. Uh, a long-nosed dog will smell that, be curious, and jump up to see what it is, not realizing there's really nothing but a 40, 60-foot drop right. on the other side. Could it be, as Bob and Melissa claim, that seductive mink piss lies at the bottom of this mystery and ravine, or a giant angel somehow involved? I had been assaulted by theories, and realized the only true way I could crack this case was to get into the mind of a dog. I needed a dog whisperer. So Jackie, you're a dog whisperer? Yes. Jackie is a professional animal psychic who can hear the thoughts of dogs, dead or alive. Today, she has brought her friend's Labrador, Nigella, who has apparently volunteered to walk the deadly bridge. Have you ever heard of dogs jumping off high bridges before? No. 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 And I, myself, do not believe that um, animals go and commit suicide. Dogs, woo! Hello. 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 Hello.
Hello. Hello, everybody. What was it saying? Did Sorry. it say anything just then? <laughs> no, I don't no. even know the dog. I said to Spirit, what is this about? And I drew a picture, and in between here, I think there's a gap. I think that the wind whistles through this gap occasionally, which is why a dog will walk along and pff, jump straight to the right. Because logically, why do the dogs not go to the left? If they can smell mink or whatever, they would go left. So what's this exactly? This is the quite rocks. hard to tell yeah. on this If image. you look at the, up there, see if you look up there, the rocks. Yeah. Okay, so that that's a rock. Yeah, I just yeah. obviously I was I was just sitting at home doing it. I'd never been here, so, so I just never been, and then suddenly yep. this sort of came to you. Yeah. Wow. And is that a, a well-known theory, or is that never heard of it? Never heard of it. Okay. But to me, it makes logical sense. So this is a big moment for me. I know that you've brought a dog along with you. Yes. Okay. Well, let's go and get the dog. Let's go. Yep. This is going to be an opportunity to talk to the dog, to take the dog across the bridge yes. safely yeah. mm -hmm. and just sort of get the dog's point of view. This was the moment. We retrieved the brave Nigella from the car, made sure the leash was tight AF and approached Overton Bridge. Come on, go sweetheart. So is Nigella aware of the bridge and sort of its mysterious ways? <laughs> She's really not bothered. She just wants to sniff. There's no anxiety no at anxiety. all. No anxiety, OK. Is Nigella well, feeling guess. nervous? <laughs> OK, she's, she's peed. What would stressful behaviour look like in a dog? Tail clamped down, you know, very sort of weary looking. She's just like, eh, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. So if we go up here... Come, let's have a look. Put your feet up. Oh, what's up there? Nigella, how high do you think that is? How high is the drop? She just said, I'm not stupid. Does Nigella think it's possible that the lady in white, the ghost of Lady Overton, could be haunting this bridge? She just said to me, no. Why would she? I mean, that's what I thought too. Yeah. Also, she's just saying, good point, is why would spirits, ghosts, whatever, want to kill animals? She didn't want to jump at all just then. No. She went up slightly. Yeah, to have a look and go, oh. So, can Nigella hear nuclear submarine sound waves right now? We can hear a lot more than humans can. Mm. Can Nigella hear anything now? Any whistling now? Not a thing. What I do hear from her, though, is she loves water, loves water. Yeah, um, you can hear the water. Yeah. And that's also a theory that the dogs have jumped because of the sound of the water. Oh, there you go. Well, yeah. What about the idea that people are actually throwing their dogs off the bridge. I don't think that people are doing that, but they said there's been a lot of fibbing going on. Yeah, I think there has been a lot of fibbing going on on this bridge. This was a case that had really confounded me. What was causing so many dogs to leap over the edge? Did the salty ghost Lady Overton really hate dogs so much that she was seducing them to their deaths? Was a nuclear submarine sonar perfectly attuned to the eardrum of long-nosed dogs? And what of Jackie's theory, that two random rocks were causing a whistling of the wind that dogs couldn't resist? Was it mink piss? Or was this all a perfect smokescreen for pervert owners to throw their dogs into the abyss? And what of the Nine for Angels? What was their deal? The dogs seem to just be telling everyone to chill out. How confusing. After analysing all the evidence, I knew I had my answer. I think it's just a bridge. <laughs>